on the one low. Our pace truck brings them out and leading them out for qualifier number one, Jim Tillman from Greenfield Mass in the 01. He'll be flanked by Zach Rizalinski from Gill Mass in the 7C. Those are the uh, two guys leading the way right there. Road number two, you'll find the Fast Eddie from Rutland Mass in the 24X. And next to him, a uh, podium finish last week for rookie. William Graham from Keene, New Hampshire in the 08 had a good run. Chris Davis, our defending champion, starts fifth from Winchester, New Hampshire. Ron Burgess, Jr. in the 4X out of Phillipston, Mass, will be our next starter. And uh, starting scratch, he's been out a couple of weeks. Finally got a new motor in, he's happy about that. The senior citizen in this division, Carter Chamberlain from Keene, New Hampshire. Jimmy Zellman opts to drop to the rear. He's had car troubles with that. He borrowed uh, a car, actually, from Mike Davis about three or four weeks ago uh, to run just to get it point. Back last week for that car, and I think he ended up having to drop out of the event. He has been a past winner in the division. Not this season, but last year. This year, Kyle Robinson and J.D. Stockwell have dominated, along with Kyle Boniface. Kyle Boniface is not here this week last week as well. So, here we go. Zach Zielinski and Fast Eddie on the outside. Here they come, Fast Eddie picking up the pace as they get the green. He's going to try to smoke him down the back stretch. Pure Stocks this week after our races have started back on April 30th. We have a tie at the top of the point standings and one of those tied drivers is not here tonight. So Kyle Robinson is your point leader tied with J.D. Stockwell who did not run this week. I think he won last night at Claremont. I got two blocks. Uh, no, is, is J.D. here? Okay, so this will be a good night. Chris Davis is sitting third. He's our defending champion. Rookie Zachary Phillips is currently in fourth place in points. Dominic Stafford fifth, and Damian Houle, Jimmy Zellman, Zach Zielinski, Bill Graham, Ron Burgess, and Chris Rickson, who is not with us tonight, make up your top ten. So most of the top ten are here, defending their positions. And it looks like we have some fluid left over from the Zellman vehicle. So we Try guys, I'll have to get out there and speed and try it up. That's right, JD is here. He'll be in the next qualifier along with uh, everybody else and a couple of newcomers, or not so newcomers, but new to us. Good field of cars, I think, tonight for Pure Stocks. Mid season always has a, an impact on uh, turnout. 
vacations, family obligations, trying to get car parts. That's the one complaint we're hearing in the pits from guys that miss a couple of weeks is the parts are just really hard to get. Tires are an issue for most of the divisions. We've known that for a couple of seasons now, but car parts, because a lot of these guys do not run with performance parts, they run with ordinary car parts. Yeah, it's and just, just hard to get. It's just like getting your car fixed uh, at the local shop. Uh, anyone's gotten their car fixed in the last uh, six months, 12 months, it's probably experienced a, a delay that you're not used to, and uh, this division has experienced those same delays. They're trying to find those same parts that uh, your local mechanic is trying to find, so they've been going through the uh, same difficulties. We'll see how Zach does. Zach has come close, but has not yet won in this division after having won a, a pair in the Young Guns early in the season. But he's got a pretty good starting spot in the qualifier. Eddie okay, Petcher, seventh, seventh inch? Almost. Almost, from Rutland, Mass. Uh, Fast Eddie, we call him. Ran as a young gun last year, moved up. Took the season, I think, and ran somewhere else. More earlier this year, is back with us now. He came in third last week on a big field of pure stocks here. You're in a great race. We got the... Uh, Oh, I guess uh, Jimmy did leave a little bit of stuff there. Right in the critical part of turns one and two, you want to stay pretty low going through one and two and throw yourself off. Um, on the gas, probably right about where the uh, blue stripe is in the front of the uh, uh, head of the uh, speedy dry truck. That's where most people are getting on the gas to go down the back stretch. It is the faster of the two straightaways because the banking is higher. And um, I we tell this every once in a while, usually with the supers a year, but they didn't make it this season yet. Uh, we had supers here in the mid-70s, and if someone had police radar, and they were doing 105, 106 down the front chute. Uh, and that was 40 years ago, 40 plus years ago. And uh, cars are a little bit quicker, some of these guys. So you can imagine what they're doing down the back stretch. They're doing, they're getting off of turn four slower. They're getting off of turn two faster. Uh, really throws you down the back stretch. And, and it's a trick to set up because you go into right where the cars are now at about 17 degrees. And when the, they come off the corner, they're down to about 14 degrees, maybe even 13. Uh, and that makes a big difference in how your car handles coming out of the corner. Drivers who aren't experienced with Manandoc, You'll see them spending a lot of time uh, coming out in the second or third group a lot of times and going in so hard that they end up in the second or third group coming through the corner because they haven't gotten the car to set up and come out of the corner. It's not even with a division like this. Get them crossed over. We'll get them restarted. Kind of trip through the speedy drive, so they'll be able to handle all day going into turn one. Zach Zelensky, Fast Eddie, Bill Graham, Chris Davis, Ron Burgess, and Carter Chamberlain. Restarting lap three out of this eight lap qualifier. Here they come, gas on, green out, we're on our way.
Some uh, great racing there for our qualifying event in the Pure Stocks. The Reverend Billy Graham there in the old eight, really uh, hanging on and giving it all to Zelinski, able to grab the checkered flag from Zelinski there on the last two laps. And, you know, Fast Eddie and Chris Davis, you know, when a veteran like Chris Davis can't find any opportunity to pass three cars in a matter of eight laps, you know that's tough racing, close racing here uh, at Monadnock in the Pure Stock Division. We have another heat race to go. And this is another of our Young Gun graduates. They graduated out of Young Guns at the same time that Zach Zelinski 